Welcome to my Origins 2019 vlog. This is day zero, technically. It is Monday night. Uh, it's about 6.30 p.m. We are flying out at 9. We're flying out at midnight, but heading to the airport at around 9 p.m. We are in Seattle. We are getting a red-eye flight to Columbus, Ohio with a layover in Houston, Texas, which I hate, <laughs> I hate red eyes, but we were fools and did not book our direct flight early enough and we weren't gonna fork out XYZ amount of extra money just to have a direct flight. So we're cheap. So we are flying out tonight at midnight. It's great. It's wonderful. I'm really excited. Um, so currently we have about two and a half, three hours to get everything ready. We are mostly packed. We just want to do a couple of last minute chores so that we come back to a nicer looking apartment. We got to make sure the cats are fed, their litter boxes are good. We've got a friend checking in on them periodically while we're gone. Um, we've got two fish tanks right now, two and a half fish tanks right now. So we got to make sure they're prepped and good to go so that the person checking in on those is going to be okay, is going to knows what to do. Plants are all watered. Um, Plants are all watered. They will be okay while we're gone. Gotta get some lunch. That's about it. Closing down everywhere. We are getting ready to go. Yeah, just making sure everything's safe. All the cats are good. Everybody is fed. And uh, yeah, we are. We're leaving. I think it's like a six hour flight to Houston and then like a four hour flight to Columbus. Decisions were made and they were not good ones. I blame him. And yeah, it is a 10 o'clock, 10.30 p.m. in Seattle, which is where we are now. And our flight is in about two hours so at midnight. <laughs> we get to Ohio 11 a.m. local time. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna sleep. We're gonna eat. Derek is working on Gen Con stuff, super secret stuff. I don't know what it looks like, but he's doing Gen Con work. He's gonna make Gen Con awesome for everybody. And I am just sitting here providing support and water. And water.
convenient our hotel is located. The Hampton is one of our favorites. The Hilton is just as convenient because it's right next door. But we, we really like the rooms in the Hampton. So this is how cool the positioning of our hotel is. That right there is North Market, which is a great place to go to get food. This right here is the front entrance to the convention center where everything is going on and here we have the Hampton Inn. So as per my friend Marion's suggestion, which is a great idea, um, we ordered some Amazon Prime Now shopping straight to the hotel room. And uh, once you order it, it takes about two hours to get to your to your hotel room. And we just got some basic like things that we're gonna need throughout the week. So we got. Um, PB and J and sandwich bread. I also got for Derek some deli sandwich meat and some cheese. I got some snacks and some water and some sodas. And that's just gonna stop us from snacking too much throughout the week. It's gonna be really great. And it's, uh, I don't know, it was like $60 worth of stuff for the two of us. That's gonna save us a bunch of money. So it's a great idea, you should do it. So Derek and I had a nap for the last few hours. There's a weird sound in the room that prevented me from sleeping. It's like a drilling sound, it sucks. Um, but it is now seven. I got groceries, I set up the room, blah, blah, blah. So I just did some basic like hotel room admin things. And my friend Marion and her friend David are here now. And they are in a really nice room in this hotel. So I'm gonna go say hi to them. Derek is feeling sick, so he is just resting some more. He always gets sick right after traveling. Like, not like, oh, I caught the crud, but like, his head will be sweaty, and his body will be cold, and he'll have a stomach thing and a headache. It's not just like a crud. I don't know what, something about traveling that does something to his body that's not good. So I told him to rest a little more while I checked in with Marion and made some plans. And then I can bring him back some food or give him some medicine because I bought some extra medicine while I was out and uh, yeah we'll see what happens next Who are you? it's Nelly oh it's Dave, Dave. Dave's here Where did you? Oh. I forgot to say hi to the people are you okay being on film yes I great. give you consent it's technically great. not film uh, yes, that's <laughs> correct. I'm going to cut it later. Yes, yeah. I forgot to, I was telling oh, people, I was like, I'm going to introduce you to everybody and then I forgot. So this is I'm my Dave. wonderful Dave Christian. How new you friend Dave. New friend Dave. I'm, I'm Dave. And, that's, and I'm Dave. So All the Daves. <laughs> Say hi to all the Daves. They're wonderful. And we're going to go have beers and have food and stuff.
I am very excited about the cheese platter and the charcuterie platter, the meat platter. I'm particularly excited about the cheese platter because last year they had a cheese I never had before and it is now my favorite che what is cheese. That? It is a Shropshire Blue, which is a mix of blue and cheddar and it was amazing. It's really good. I am pretty excited for the cream sickle, which is an orange vanilla cream ale. I am intrigued by the, um, where'd it go? It's like a matcha latte cream ale. Uh, so we'll see on that one. And then there's another one, um, this chocolate leisurely, a raspberry saison with vanilla and cacao. Um, that looks interesting. And a, oh, ooh, ooh, there's a really interesting one. Um, Oh, this straight shot. So that's blood orange and cascara saison. Cascara is the fruit that you find a coffee bean in. It's um, kind of a trendy thing now to um, use it and you can make a tea with it because they're like a dried fruit or to use it in a beer or something. I've never had it. I'm told it doesn't taste like chocolate. Coffee. So, or, sorry, coffee, yeah. Um, so I'm kind of really interested. I might have really bitter sour. They say more like a tart with uh, like a light fruit note. So of course it depends how they how they did it. So can you tell me your meringue experience or what was it? The one they didn't have. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so what happened last year? So there's a lemon meringue, a lemon vanilla cream ale. It sounds really good. And last year we got here roughly the same time on roughly the same day, the Tuesday before. Uh, origins. And we got here and they're like, we're sorry, we just tapped the keg. We can't have it. And we're like, dang, nab it. So fine. So this year we're like, we're going to get there. And I checked the tap list on the way in the car to make sure they still had it. And our waitress literally told us, oh, they, they just they just killed the keg. Sorry, there's no more. No. We're gonna, it's, okay, it's okay because they have a bomber. So we're hoping they still have a bomber, which is like a like a giant keg. Okay. So we can take it back and try it. But they have so many good beers. Look at that cinnamon toast brunch. So the awesome thing about Wolf Ridge is, besides having really great food, they have it's a really great brewery too, and they do all these really interesting uh, micro brews. Um, they have some IPAs, but that's not their focus, which is great because I'm not a big IPA fan. So if you look, there's a cream ale, a coffee vanilla cream ale, an orange hip of bison, a blood orange and cascara saison, raspberry saison, a bunch of imperial stouts. Look at that barrel aged red honey saison. So there's a lot of unusual, almost like experimental beers, which is really fun to try. So we're getting uh, we're getting two flights of five each, so we're getting ten little tiny bits to try. And if whatever we really like, we'll probably get a whole one of that, or we might get more flights because they've got I don't know, 16, maybe 18 beers, and they're all very interesting. Uh, California Common, he wants to try. So they really have all different styles. You know, we get kind of tired of going places where it's like, here are the 12 IPAs we have on draft, and the one thing that's not IPA. It's like, I, I, I don't drink my beer on a dare. I don't drink it to see how bitter it is. I want to try it. I want to taste it and try different flavors. So that's one of the things I really like about this place. So, super looking forward to this. I am cautiously optimistic about the matcha latte. Straight shot. This one is the crispy pills. Just a straight old pills. I straight will try a crispy. Blood, orange, and cascara. I'll oh. try the Pilsner. Yeah, I'm He's a more of a Pilsner guy. But I'll Pilsner, Pilsner, Pilsner. It's light and refreshing. It's a What's your thoughts, Dave? Light and refreshing. It's a fine beer. Light and refreshing. David, do you agree? It's yeah. It's a Pilsner. I mean, it's a good. It's a I think. Pilsner. I think it's yeah, I think it's a solid example of that style. Yeah. Are you gonna want any matcha latte? Okay. So do you want to do cream sickle next? Or cream, cream, I'm really cream excited sickle? about the cream sickle. Is that what it, that is? Cream sickle? Yes, cream sickle. Orange vanilla cream. Give a minute. Get the nose. Ha, 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 ha. I got a lot more vanilla than orange. What do you think it about the lacing? It smells very vanilla. Yeah. The lacing thing for you? That's not bad, but I would like more orange. Yeah, I agree. I it's, it's not bad. I mean, that's not that bad. It's not the best review. <laughs> no, no, I, no. It's, it doesn't taste like a creamsicle. It tastes like a pretty good cream ale with okay. some vanilla, but there's not the orange. Definitely I really orange. Uh, you want me to try this one no. first? What's Matcha that? latte. Do it. Chuck, chuck. No. 
just to review, that is um, vanilla and matcha tea cream ale. All right, let me well, clean your palate. Here we go. This is getting serious now. Oh man, smell it. it smells like tea. It smells like something. It's a, it's, did you say it smells like cheap tea? Oh. <laughs> oh, it does. Oh, we're all smelling. It kind of like fruity tea, though. Oh, it does smell like it. It's interesting. Like, right. a lemon, right, let's like a lemonade. All right. If I die knowing I die doing what I love. Right. A macho latte. Wow. Oh, does it deliver? Wow. That's a lot better than not that bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is good. It is smooth. It's got a little bit of cheese. I think it's got a little more vanilla in it. That is nice. I like that. So vanilla is the dominant thing. I like that better than the cream, honestly. It's can smoother. I, can I try them too? Of course. Can please. I try the Pilsner? Yes. That's a that's a good uh, check beer. Yeah. Try, you can. Try, we got these for everybody to try. All I just want to. I don't know what a Pilsner is. So when you're like, it's just like a Pilsner. I'm like, cool. That's how I'll tell you what a Pilsner is. That's one of his favorite kinds. It's I like mean, a light lager. Bud, like, Budweiser yeah. is technically a Pilsner, yeah. It's a, so it's a, it's a lager. Pilsner. It's a lager. This is the, if I was going to drink beer, that's the one I would choose because it's fairly mild and it doesn't have that. We have an IPA well, a Pilsner no longer. You try the matcha? Okay, so I think you might like it. Pilsner I could be wrong. Is a lager. Not all lagers are Pilsner. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, what you need to know. Take the time. Yeah. 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 What you need to know is the difference between an ale and a lager. Ales are generally top fermented. In, in the tank, the it's yeast okay. is on the it's top. It's okay. okay. I like the because smell of the beer. Lagers, yeah. they take it does smell good. It does not have that. So what I hate about the beer is that... In the old days, putting them in the, the, the cooler... The bitter, the hoppy. Cave, so, okay. that's yeast, pretty good. Yeah. Well, I used to think I hate all beers. And I just hate hoppy beers for the most yeah. part. So that's why I stick to with some Saison. What's the other one that we tried? This one is a cream. good food and some beer I don't really drink and it was fun to try to taste a couple of beers and have them explain the flavors to me to like look out for and then we watched the pilot episode of what we do in the shadows the TV show because I haven't seen it yet I'm a big fan of the movie I just don't um, have a subscription to FX so I haven't been able to watch the show but the show is great and then we played a little bit of Mario Kart because Marion brought her switch and now I'm on my way back to the hotel room, checking on Derek. It's like, I don't know what time, like midnight, close like 11 p.m. So what I'm gonna do now is um, check on Derek. He looks like he's feeling a little better. And then 
look at the event grid. Registration opens at 7 a.m. That's when we can pick up our badges. And breakfast is at 6 to 10 a.m. So there's a lot of different like things going on. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I find some events that I might want to be in. Hey. Hi. Hey. What time is it? 1.30. How are you feeling? Better. You look good. Thank you. So what, how, what was your evening and day like today? Uh, I slept and was ill all day. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now I feel better. Looks good. So you woke up and what did we do? We went and said hi to Marianne and hung out with him for a little while. And then came back here. Cool. Excited for tomorrow? Yes, sure. What's tomorrow going to look like? Tomorrow we have to get up early, go have breakfast, and then go get badges and stuff like that and figure out if we can register for any events at this point. Yep. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have office hours. We're going to try to teach people, show people how the electronic tickets are going to work for Gen Con this year. I'll walk through that process with everybody. And then we'll just see what happens during the day. Cool. Love you. I uh, love you too. I just went through the entire Origins catalog and I am left with some events that I feel like might be interesting if they still have tickets left for them. Um, and let me go through a couple of those. Um, Marion was interested in doing qu a court dancing class. So if there's still tickets, I will see if I can join her in doing that because I think that could be silly. There's also the costume contest, which might be fun to watch because I always like to see people in cosplay. Uh, let's see what else I have on here. There's like a LARPing uh, intro techniques class that I think might be fun because LARPing I've never really tried completely. There's a cosplay class. Um, there's Dread, the RPG that I really like, so I think that could be fun. There's a Kids on Bikes RPG I still have on the list. Fireball Island. Because um, I've never played it and it seems like a silly game where it doesn't really matter if I don't have a friend with me. It could still be fun. And then another game called Meeple Party, which is a new party game coming out that's co-op. And... Uh, yeah, I think in total, currently my list has like 50 items on it, but a lot of those games are like like 10 15 sessions of those games so i'll see which ones they have tickets available for still um then i will finish editing the video and i will go to sleep it is two it's almost 3 a.m and this is why i never get sleep at conventions is because i because we want to be down for breakfast by eight yep yeah, we're gonna get breakfast at 8 a.m tomorrow so that's in five hours but i've set myself the task for the last seven years that I will vlog conventions and get the video up the following day or same night for every day so I have chosen this path and I'm too stubborn to not do that so we'll finish editing my video hopefully I will be in bed in the next 30 minutes or so um and that's it good night good night